Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another quick unboxing video for you. And today, gonna open it up with the MTEC M3 or MT2030 little neck knife I've been carrying. And um, I, I've kind of enjoyed carrying this little guy. It's come in handy a lot, carries well, barely feel it I'm hanging around my neck with this ball chain that came with it. I was going to swap that out, but I've been using it, and since I got this, it got me looking for other ones, so I found, what's this, card, I got this, a Rough Rider, and this is model RR1825. I found this on eBay. I actually, I saw a video on this on YouTube. I couldn't find it on Smoky Mountain Knife Works or Amazon, but I was able to find it on on eBay for I think 12 bucks. So I picked it up. Um, so yeah, it's a it's another little neck knife. Looks similar to this one. So let's open this thing up. So, put that up here. Yeah. Very similar. It's got, actually, the ball chain feels slightly heavier. Nice Kydex sheath. It's got plastic on it. It's got a red paracord lanyard on it. That may come off. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's open this thing up. Get the plastic off. Check it out. Rough Rider. You notice Rider spelt with an I instead of a Y. Nice. Nice drop point blades. Got a swedge. Actually has a sharpening choil. G10 handles. Some jipping up here that's pretty nice. No jimping around the back end of it. Yeah, this feels... It's basically two-finger knife the way the handle's shaped. But I can get three on there. <clears throat> the lantern does help. Gives my pinky something to hold on to. Let's check out the... Man... It goes in tight. There's absolutely no play. No rattle. That's nice. Um, retention's good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool knife. It's 440 steel. That Rough Rider uses. There's the model number. Made in China. There's the Rough Rider logo. G10's got some grip to it. Oh, it's got... It's got red liners on it. That's why they got red paracord to match the liners. That is cool. I'm liking this one. Feels pretty good. Let's compare it to the... The M-Tech. Um... Blade is basically the same. Handles a little bit longer. That's nice. Um, where's my ruler? I got. I've done some unboxings and stuff, so I got <clears throat> boxes everywhere. Can't find nothing. But yeah, that's blade is. Two inch to the choil, just a touch longer than two inches overall length, about five inches. This should be four and three quarters, yeah. So it's a quarter inch longer handle than the M Tech. Yeah, I'm liking this one. This one's pretty light. Um, let's weigh it real quick. 
with the lanyard even. So the knife weighs 1.7 ounces. The whole thing here. Well, that, that clips in nice and tight. This whole thing weighs 2.4. I got 2.38 right here. 2.4. Um, the M Tech. Like I said, I, I've enjoyed using carrying this one. That one weighs 2.12, so a little bit lighter than this. This is, you know, a quarter inch longer. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if they're still making these. Like I said, it wasn't even listed on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I went and found it on eBay. There's a couple left. Um, but yeah, I like the stone wash blade on this. Nice wedge. Got more of a point. It's got more of a point than the M Tech. Although this this will pierce, but I don't think it's as good as this is gonna be. Nice grind on it. Looks even side to side a nice nice tip yeah i think i'm gonna start carrying this one boy like i said that is there's is absolutely no rattle there's a little bit of rattle in the m-tech as you can hear but the retention's good not as good as the rough rider I haven't had no issues with that coming loose or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know about this paracord lanyard on here. Definitely, definitely helps as far as grip, but I don't know. Don't need that hanging down, making it. I think it's as long as the knife. But yeah, pretty cool looking. I'm, I didn't know it had red liners. I don't know if you can see that or not. That is it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little neck knife. Yeah, I'm going to definitely swap out to this one. And after a while, you know, I'll come back and let you know how it makes out. Um, I'll probably do a full review of, you know, these two together. Not a whole lot to talk about, but... I'll let you know how I, how how they fare out, fare and work out. Like I said, the the ball chain and the Rough Rider is definitely a little heavier, so I'm gonna try that for a while. And because this one, I don't know, I I didn't think I'd like the ball chain, but it's working pretty good, so I'll give this one a try. And I guess that's it. Again, it's Rough Rider RR 1825, little neck knife. Um, you can find them. You'll have to search around looking for it, but you should be able to find it someplace. Like I said, I found this on eBay. But yeah, guess that's it. You know, like I said, just a quick, quick um, unboxing video. I'll come back let you know how this thing's working out. And I guess that's it. You know, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, bye.